having goulash. You don't want to know. You really don't want to know. I would have been fine if she just would have said nothing and handed me this goulash. And now I'm just going to feel sick all day. All right. Let's go sell everything we have. And then break the news. I really hope I have enough stamina to get over there. I'm almost... It's already gone because I'm so overloaded. Folas, oh god, I'm just bleeding out of my ears as I run to Folas. I'll take my things. So you entered the rights of rulership. That'll certainly prove whether you have the right stuff or not. <laughs> you made a funny babe. All right, here, let's sell all our stuff. All right, before we go too much further, I will have you note that when I made the original rope and grapnel, it looked exactly like this. So it became a magic rope and grapnel. So then I used my rope on the other grapnel that Rakish gave me. And not only did it remove my old grapnel, but it looked exactly the same. So it didn't really matter one way or another. But I really, I just want to see what this thing looks like. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Let's get a little bit closer so we can see it being swung around. So here's a regular attack overhead. Uh, how do I do the other attack? F. Oh, that's nice. I probably could use this if I want, but it just seems so unthiefy. I just can't. I can't bring myself to do it. So let's sell it. At least we got to see what it looks like. I oh, I have it equipped. I can't. It looks a lot nicer in that portrait than it does in my hands. I'll tell you that. All right, and you buy all these shields from me, please. Happy wants to stop into the bank and say, "Oh, oh, hi! I wanted to deposit some." No, no, you were broke. What? Broken into? That's terrible. I was robbed last night. Well, that is, the bank was robbed. Thief cleaned out the safe entirely. It was a pretty professional job of it, too. All right, I better not put all the money back in or he might get suspicious. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give him like a, a bit of it. Here, you just take this little bit here. Oh, I think I still had some in there. Oh, I took it out. Like, oh my God, I lost all my money. Oh, wait. A drachma saved is a drachma earned, I always say. All right. Let's see if we can talk to him about it. Oh, tell me how professional this was. Hi. Hey. What are you so happy about? Your money was stolen from here, too. That's a really strange delivery, but thank you. Yeah. Keep your eyes out for anyone who seems suspicious, okay? All right, man. You got it. And I, and I will be eternally vigilant. I'll find who fits this glove for real. All right, so now it looks like the hall is open. Actually, let's talk to Rakesh again before we go. Let's let's tell him what we've done. Let's see if it's actually honorable for us to do this. Like, should we line up all the contestants and just hand them out like, like cookies? Like, here's one for you, here's one for you. Just say you got them from your father. No, he's not even there. He's probably waiting for me inside the palace. I imagine everyone's waiting for me at the palace. Oh, the looks on their faces when they get to their respective fishing villages whenever they were going to get there and be all like, oh, there's no one here. Oh, well, I guess I'll just go and get the sigil. Oh, it's gone. Along with their magical things. And by the way, what were all these magical trinkets and magical leather armor doing in uh, poor fishing villages? Or did the, did the mercenaries bring them? I don't know. And why were they using them? They sure could have used them. Hi, guard. Orea. You have completed the right of freedom. You will soon be summoned to the Hall of Kings. Oh, and my, I, I guess that means now, okay. The Prince of Shapir has freed the village from the invaders. Villages. He returned to the gates of the Hall of Kings before all others. He is the winner of the right of freedom. Kokino Pukamiso was found murdered outside of the city beside a broken dragon pillar. He sought to free a village and win a throne. He lived with honor, but fell by foul means. He will not be forgotten. The right of freedom has ended. You will all be summoned for the next right of rulership. Farewell. All right, well, no one seemed overly pissed off that I did all their jobs for them. And then, oh, okay, then I lose an entire day. Beautiful. All right, back we are again. Hi. This is the second right of rulership. The invaders are led by a general named Claudius. 
who has the reputation of being a ruthless and powerful strategist. So let me get this straight. There's this great general who's supposed to be a brilliant military strategist who's behind all these Hesperian mercenaries. And all they've done is like, okay, I want you men to go wander randomly in the countryside and stop anybody and let them escape if they want to. And you guys go take over those fishing villages over there and stand. Just, just stand. Just trust me. This has got some plans. I know exactly what I'm doing. I have a feeling he's not going to be too hard to take out. All right. Now let's see if Rakesh is here. I'm really surprised that it wasn't really brought up the fact that, yeah, by the way, I rescued all the goddamn villages. I mean, they took all of my sigils, so they must know. Oh, well, what do I know? I'm just here to help. Hey, Rakesh. How you doing, buddy? Greetings. Forgive me for being so solemn after your success. However, the murder of Kokino disturbs me greatly. This is but the first of the rites, and already one has died. I mourn for Kokino, my friend. Oh, that little pause there sounded like he was crying. Kokino was assassinated. This could mean only that the assassin will be trying to kill off all who entered the rites of That's rulership. That's the only conclusion. However, I suspect there's more to Kokino's death than that. Why was Kokino murdered so far from the city? Why in that particular spot? All right, Rakesh, were you watching the uh, that the were you watching the same intro that I was when this game began? How the pillars were broken by the the blood of a murdered man, and apparently it's already happened before. There's already a broken one. And why was Kokino's body so far away from the pillar if the blood is necessary? Like the splatter is supposed to kill him, or it's supposed to free the break the pillar? Do you just, like, kind of do that and then throw his body over to the middle of the field for some reason? I don't know. And away we go! Okay, so we talked to Rakesh. The next right is on the way. I'm back. It feels good to be sitting in the recording chair again. Let's get this over with. Okay, so now we talked to Rakesh. Uh, let's check the board, see if anything is new. Oh, assassination. Yeah, we know about Kokino. He will be mourned. We'll miss him completely, even though we talked to him. He said maybe two things to us at all. All right, so I am the current leader. Elsa, Gort, Magnum Opus are ranking far behind me because they're the only ones left for now because uh, they, they're going to be falling off pretty fast. All right, so Reddit Conquest is next. Let's refresh. Competitors must find the location of the Hesperian Mercenaries Fortress and defeat the General. Got to return with a shield. I hate this mission because, again, it is one that is not in keeping with the thiefy way of doing things. And I'll show you why when we get there. But from what I remember, you can sneak into the place, but then there's, like, two boss battles you have to fight. I don't know. Either, but there's no sneaky way to, like, you can't steal his shield. You literally have to peel it off his cold corpse. Uh, oh, and look. Oh, the bank got robbed. Oh, no. Someone picked the bank's lock and disarmed the trap. To steal the drachmas stored there? No. He says their money will eventually be available, available despite the loss. Well, that's great. Until the next time I break into the bank, you guys enjoy it. All right, let's see what's new. We don't need to talk to the banker. We already talked to him. How are you doing, Natshima? Greetings, oh finder Sorry. of lost things. I am most pleased to have back... Uh-huh. Um, not much else to say, it looks like. She does know a couple of rumors here. I could talk, I could tell her about finding the basket, which, well, what the hell? Hi! Welcome, my friend. Thank you yet again for the return of my basket. Again with the basket. Is this the only point of conversation we're ever going to have, Sara? Can we talk about the weather? How is your family? Tell me about your childhood. I am most fine and very pleased to have back my basket. Again with the basket. I don't, look. I'm sure you're a lovely person, Sara, but let's talk about something else besides your basket. And of course, the next thing I'm going to ask you about is basket. It is so good to have my basket back. I <laughs> thought I would never see it again. Oh, uh, one track mind this, Sara. Is there any more rumors that you have? Anything not about your flippin' basket? It is said that there is an assassin that stalks the city by night, and no one is safe. It is most fortunate for Sumaria that you are now here to stop this murderer, hero friend. 
I have a feeling that if I die here in Samarias, if Sara is in charge of putting my epitaph on there, it's just going to be a picture of a basket. Nothing else. Oh, I can even tell her about finding the basket. Let's, yeah, okay, fine. Let's exhaust all possible avenues of discussion about this basket forevermore. You are a true hero to risk so much for such a little thing. You're not that small, sorry. You're a perfectly healthy height. Farewell, and a thousand thanks go with you. Thanks for the basket. Did I mention the basket? Thank you so much for the basket. Uh, whatever. Let's talk to this. Instead of talking to cats, let's talk to dogs. I love them. Oh. Namaste. And may you be having a pleasant day. I just... Mm, he's so positive. I want that to be like a ringtone. Like whenever I sign on... Oh, no. That's going to be my new sign-on sound in my computer. And I will show you it will happen. I'm just going to sign on. It's going to be Namaste. May you be having a pleasant day. And I'm like, thank you, computer. Yes. Yes, I will. And it is Elsa! Well, let's see if she has anything to say about the recent events with the... Let's just talk directly to her navel, shall we? Uh, hi! Right one, all done. Hero man. I wasn't talking to you, Toro! Seems that you have done very well for the right of freedom. I will do better on the next ride, I assure you. Uh, you better, because no one even bothered to show up to any of their respective fishing villages. I had to do all of your work. You should be ashamed with your belly button. Hey! It is good to relax after the ride of freedom. I do not think we shall have much time to relax soon. Yeah, take it easy, babe. You really worked pretty hard on that last... I'm lying. I am not proud of my performance in this instance. Minos insisted that I take his ship to the fishing village. He wished to send in some goon guards to aid me. I had a difficult time convincing Minos I needed no help. The invaders saw Minos' ship and were prepared for my attack. This made the task very difficult. Next ride, I shall insist to Minos that I shall do things my way. All right, so theory. So maybe she actually did try to storm the village? But because they saw her ship coming, then uh, they marshaled the forces and the, everyone in the boat is like, Oh, shit, we better get out of here. Oh, no. But again... They're not really going up against much. These mercenaries, not really a threat, not really intelligent, not really good with their swords. God is very strange. The scientists lead him around as if he were a small child. The scientists speak for him. I do not think God has a mind of his own. All right. So we know that Gort is apparently just a puppet in the hands of the scientists. So if Gort somehow wins this competition, it'll be a puppet government run by the scientists who are uh, a bit crazy. We haven't talked to them yet. We'll go visit Science Island, I think, before too much longer. Magnum! That man is very irritating. He seems to believe that he is simply irresistible to women. I find him to be a braggart and a bore. He is not half the person he thinks he is. Mmm, tempted to start singing some STP, but I'm not going to. Bye! We shall see each other at the Hall of Kings. Farewell. Uh, the weird, uh, um, the background here, while kind of pretty, it's just the coloration that they have to do, the pixelation, because they have to scale as you move around, just makes everything look so ugly. But, eh, again, 90s. Hey, Toro, how you doing, buddy? Have anything new to say? You do? Hi! Happy Hero Man and Elsa here safe! I... I forgot that your conversations go nowhere. Toro sad. Elsa mad. I am not mad, Toro. I'm just a little upset at losing. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Elsa not like lose. I will do better next time. Uh, I'm not... Alright, fine. Just for the sake of completion, I'll finish up your conversation, Toro. Right, Don. Okay, bye. See you soon. Ugh. Why do I talk to Toro? Why isn't Toro in the right of rulership? I would like to see that. Anything new? There is. These are highlighted. Uh, right of freedom over. <laughs> right of freedom over. Elsa not win. Too bad. Excellent. Well, bye. That was enlightening. A very bad feeling about the very deep low growl emanating from the cat. That's, oh god! Oh god! Oh, it's licking me! Oh, it's like sandpaper! Ah!